College students are back at school, many without a way to get around. The Connecticut Department of Transportation is helping students at several colleges and universities get a ride for free. Newsday's Jackie Slater reports on the new program available to students. All aboard! With the new academic year about to get rolling, students at 15 Connecticut State Colleges will now find it easier to get around. For a deep discount of just $20 a semester, undergraduate students can get unlimited rides on several CT transit lines. Well, we're blessed to have just a plethora of, of educational opportunities here in the state, and we've known for a long time that they needed to be interconnected. Uh, of course, at the same time, we have students traveling from all over to go to various schools throughout the state, so it kind of seemed like a no-brainer. It's called the U-Pass, and this is the first year DOT is sponsoring the program. In addition to bus rides, students can also travel on Shoreline East and Metro North trains up to the state line. At Central Connecticut State University, today the U-Pass is getting rave reviews. I think it's a great thing. You know, a lot of kids commute, um, a lot of kids live close in the area. Um, so I think it's a great, you know, great opportunity for kids to get kids on, a, on a, uh, either a fast track or some type of transportation to get them here in and, um, and, and class. I think it's good because it provides safe transportation for people like who are going out at night and stuff like that. And it's also good just for people who don't have cars on campus. DOT estimates about 90,000 students in the state can take advantage of the program. In the first few days of offering the cards at UConn, more than 4,500 students pick theirs up. Any concerns that they're going to overload some of the lines? Now we hope that's a problem. I mean, obviously, we'll add vehicles, add rail cars, or do what we need to do to expand service accordingly. I mean, the idea is to get as many folks off the road as possible and um, get them on public transportation. Reporting in New Britain, Jackie Slater, News 8.